Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to Unstoppable Vision 2015, the importance of goal setting. Guys, what I wanna really do here is I really want for you to get, I wanna take you back to the basics here. You know, you might go through this and, 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 and kind of be thinking to yourself, Darren, I already know that. I mean, why aren't I implementing this in my life? Guys, here's what I'm gonna tell you. We as human beings battle something called the human condition. Your human brain is actually programmed to self-destruct. And you've got to understand this and why this is so critically important for you to get this information to be able to take your life to the next level. So there's me. My name is Darren Little, um, also known online as the MLM superhero. Uh, there's a couple books that I have. Uh, been in. I'm the uh, contributing uh, author uh, to Chicken Soup for the Network Marketer Soul and the co-author of MLM Affiliate Magic that helps people to fast track their business by at least three to five years. Okay. Now you can actually get a copy of MLM Affiliate Magic if you go to MLMSuperhero.com, download a copy of that book. Uh, we send that to your email, so make sure that you've got a valid email in there. Okay, so why should you listen to me, guys? Well, let me tell you a little bit about my background here. Um, you might be familiar with Pamela Anderson. She uh, actually has the most ever front covers of Playboy. Uh, she was uh, on Tool Time, and then she was uh, um, made her big celebrity st uh, status in uh, a program called Baywatch. And I actually helped to launch her uh, career into the marketplace. Now, we were talking earlier about two worlds existing simultaneously. When I met Pamela, uh, I said, you know, have you ever considered doing any modeling? She said, well, you know, I'm, I'm just too short. You know, I would never be able to do that, right? So that gives you an idea of what can happen with a shift in mindset, with a shift in belief of what you believe to be true. Uh, I also launched a company called Able Auctions. I raised $12 million for that company. I took them public on the American Stock Exchange. Uh, I was the founder of a, a company called uh, Blackjack.com with the world's largest blackjack uh, club. Uh, I also was the uh, co-founder of Bingo.com, uh, world's first um, online bingo community. And this is a really interesting story because my goal was actually to beat out Google. Okay, Google had an average user time of 20 minutes. And according to Nielsen ratings, when I was running bingo.com, uh, we had an average user time of right around 45 to 47 minutes per user. Now keep in mind, guys, this is before Facebook uh, even existed. Okay, this was back in uh, 1999. And, um, you know, people didn't have social media that, the way that they do now. I also launched uh, my own brand called the MLM Superhero. And guys, I want for you to really understand the power of vision. Because every single one of these cases, every single one of these cases, I had to be able to see into the future and last through that future reality into my reality right now. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Now my passion's truly marketing. Um, using the marketing strategies that I teach, I became a self-made millionaire um, at the age of 35. I go into a lot of this story um, in my training. You know, I was working with uh, Dr. Lee Poulos. He taught me a lot about the subconscious mind, Dr. Dov Barron in quantum physics. And it, anything is possible, guys. Anything is possible once you believe it to be true. So why are goals so important? A lot of people say, I don't know, Darren, you know, goals, I don't think they're that, uh, that big of a deal. You have to have some sort of a destination point, a trackable destination point. Now, here's what I will tell you about goals. They give you something to actually work towards, right? Uh, an actual uh, place that you're going. If you don't have that, you're lost, basically. You've got a sense of purpose and accomplishment if you have goals. They're actually trackable. You can, you can discover whether or not what you're doing is working. You're either getting closer to your goal, you're spinning your wheels, or you're falling further behind. So they're very trackable. They can also help to boost your confidence and self-esteem 
as you start to hit your little milestones, right, it starts to give you more confidence and self-esteem, and they can actually improve the quality of your life. Now, what happens without goals? This is the important part. First of all, you've got no destination. You're completely lost. You actually have a feeling inside like you're failing in life without goals, right? This is where, you know, it's almost like murky water. You know, that river starts to venture off into all these paths and then it starts to become stagnant water, right? So it's important if you have those goals, you're, you're in that rush of energy. And also, if you don't have any goals, you really don't have any accountability in your life at all. You're just kind of meandering aimlessly, lost in space. You start to lose your confidence, your self-esteem, and it can actually oftentimes lead to depression, right? If you can imagine that. And they actually can decrease in the quality of life if you've got no goals. Now, this is one of the things that I learned from one of my mentors in my 20s, which was uh, Tony Robbins. He said, you're either growing or shrinking, climbing or sliding. There is no in-between. And that's the difference between having a target and having no target, having goals and having none, right? Going in a direction or being stagnant. You're either moving in the river or you're actually getting into stagnation. So something to consider. Now, here's what I'll tell you. I talked about this earlier, but there's two worlds that exist simultaneously. On one side, you've got everything that you want, and on the other side, you've got everything that you don't want, okay? Now, whichever one that you focus on is the one that you're going to get. And so much about this is going to get back to two words, okay? Now, these two words can go both ways, guys. Two words. What if, what if, what if everybody that I talked to wanted to join my business? What if my phone was ringing off the hook with incoming calls? What if everywhere that I went, people wanted to join my business? What if leaders were contacting me from all four corners of the world? Okay, that's one side. Now, I could also say this. Oh my God, what if I go bankrupt? What, 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 if, I, what if I lose all my money? What, what if everybody I talk to rejects me? Right, those are two worlds that exist simultaneously. One is the victim and the other is the victor. So you've got to decide which path that you want to be on. Now, a lot of this stems back to the wave particle theory, guys. And I, you know, I, I tell this story to all of my students because it's important for you to realize on a quantum physics level. Now, I learned this while I was working with a gentleman by the name of Dr. Dov Barron. Uh, he's the one that came up with the actual equation for manifestation. You can actually see his product at equationformanifestation.com. That uh, information completely changed my life. I, I will be completely honest with you. Uh, I consider him to be a world authority in uh, quantum physics. And this is something that completely changed my reality. Now, here's the story. There, you know, the scientists were actually trying to figure out what's the whole world made of? What's the universe actually made up of? And they, they, they realized that, you know, things were made up of atoms and molecules. But what are the atoms and molecules made up of? They got it down to the electrons. Now, here was the interesting thing. There was one group of scientists and they believed, listen to my, listen to my words, they believed that those, those uh, electrons were made up of waves of energy. Now they conducted all their research and here's what they found. It came back 100% conclusive. That means there was no skewing. There wasn't any other results, right? It came back 100% conclusive that those electrons are made, made up of waves of energy. But another group of scientists in another area of the world they believed that those electrons were made up of particles of matter. And the particles of matter would come together and they would form the atoms and the, the electrons and would form the atoms and molecules and they would form stuff. Now, how's that possible? How's that possible? One group of scientists 
believed that that was waves of energy and the other group believed that it was particles of matter and they both got 100% conclusive evidence. What they found was this, those electrons are in a state of what's called superposition. They have not yet made up their mind what they're gonna become, a wave of energy or a particle of matter. And when your thought-directed emotion that generates feeling broadcasts out to those electrons, it's going to make them make that decision of what they're actually going to become. Now, in the uh, uh, Science of uh, Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles, he talks about something called formless substance. Formless substance that is the electrons and once you get this once you realize that it's your thoughts your words your emotions that are creating your reality everything changes guys because now you got to stay you got to start to take responsibility for what's going on in your head you've got to start to be the observer of what's going on in your head right and realize are you going towards everything you want or everything that you don't want now, here's the thing. This is why I say multiple times per day, you've got to say, how do I feel? How do I feel? Because that's going to have you uh, linked to what were you just thinking about? Because that's what's actually connected to your emotions. Now, here's the question I say to my students is that, you know, I'll say, well, give me an idea. I mean, how much money do you, did you want? And they go, I don't know, as much as I can make. That's asking for nothing, just so you know, okay? So you've gotta know where you're going because imagine you call a travel agent and you say, give me two tickets. Where's the travel agent gonna send you? You could actually be heading to a war zone and get off the plane and be escorted with guys in machine guns and put in jail, right? So it's probably not a good idea just to float aimlessly or not even know where you're going to go. You really got to make a decision and sit down and decide, right? It's a simple thing to do, but not very many people actually do it. So start asking yourself a few questions right now. Why haven't you already achieved financial freedom? Now, this is a pretty deep question, guys, I'm telling you. Because when you realize that it's actually you that's stopping you from getting your dream. It's not the world, it's not your circumstances, it's your thoughts, words, and emotions. And why don't you feel worthy? Why don't you feel deserving? Why don't you feel that abundance is your birthright? That there's not enough money in the world that can pay you for your worth? What's stopping you? Now, here's typically what happens is you've got a story. Oh man, you don't know my story. Oh, dude, I mean, you think you got it bad. Let me tell you my story, right? This is, where, this is what holds people stuck so they can't move. I can't be successful because, and what's your story? What's your story? I can't be successful because I don't have enough time. I mean, we got the kids, we got pickups and drop-offs. Man, you don't know, man. You don't know how hard it is for me, man. You don't know. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough contacts. I mean, you know tons of people, Darren, but I don't know anybody. I just got like a few friends that I know. I don't know anybody. I don't have any contacts. I don't have any friends on Facebook. I, that's called victimhood. This is more victimhood stuff, okay? I don't have enough knowledge or training, right? We'll get the knowledge or the training, right? I don't have enough money, right? Now, here's what I will tell you. With a vision, you can get the money. As a victim, you can't. Nobody will invest in a victim, but tons of people will open up their wallet for a vision. So when I launched the uh, bingo.com deal, guys, I had to be so tapped into my vision just the domain name that you can buy off GoDaddy for 10 bucks, we paid $1.1 million. 
Now that didn't include working capital, that didn't include office space, that didn't include staffing, that didn't include software development, that didn't include licensing, that didn't include anything. That was just the domain name, right? So I had to actually sign a, uh, a contract with my name as the CEO and I didn't have the money yet. Now imagine that, you're committing into a contract and you don't have the money to be able to do the deal, but you've got a certain period of time, right? And I had to make the deal happen. So I needed to be so tapped into my vision, so tapped into my dream that I could literally breathe it, taste it, touch it into my reality right now. Otherwise, I would never have been able to do that. So I went out and raised $7.1 million on a vision, guys, on a vision. What did I believe to be true, right? So don't buy into that thing that you don't have enough money. If you're a victim, here's what I will tell you. Nobody's cutting checks to you, 100%. You can be rest assured of that. Nobody will cut a check to a victim. You, I, I don't know, Jared, I just don't feel worthy. I, 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 don't, I don't feel that I, I deserve it. Well, that's, that's unfortunate, right? Maybe when you start suffering a little bit more, maybe you'll reach your breaking point and then maybe you'll be ready to go to the next level. Some people might have a fear of success or a fear of failure. Guys, those are all an illusion. It all gets back to your deservability, worthiness, self-love, and boundaries. That's really what it's about. That's why I tell people, if you, want, if you really want to take your life to the next level of success, you've got to do the personal development, right? That's the core thing. A lot of people have a fear of rejection. Or what you don't even realize is as you start to grow and advance, people that are in a lower vibration, right, that are victims, they don't want you to leave. They don't want to lose their friends. And you might be in a situation where you're scared that if you advance, you're actually going to lose your friends, right? Now, here's what I will tell you. There's tons of successful people that are ready to give you a big welcome hug and embrace you. So sometimes you got to do a little bit of cleanup. Sometimes you got to realize that the people that are in your reality are not supporting you to go to the next level, right? And you got to start cutting off those people, right? Just start spending less and less time with them and start to move towards more successful people. Now, a lot of people are actually scared of their own personal power, right? A lot of people were like, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they, they felt their power inside before and it scares them. They don't know how much power that they, they, they really have, right? Let me tell you, you are amazing. You can take your life to a next level. You can have whatever you want if you believe it to be true. And also the fear of the unknown because they really don't know how far uh, that rabbit hole goes, guys. And I'll be honest with you. If you're in a state where you're in between two realities, and you're at the end of level one in the game and your Pandora's box in your chest is starting to <laughs> bubble up, right, into your throat, people don't know how far that rabbit hole goes. And they're scared to deal with those emotions because they don't know how deep it really goes. And they're, they're scared of it. They're scared to deal with those emotions. They're scared to bring up the past. They're scared to own their timeline. And that keeps them stuck. You've got to trust that there's mentors that can help you get through. You've got to trust that there's people that can help take you through that gateway so that you'll never, ever have to worry about money again for the rest of your life. Now, how do you set goals? Break down the main areas of your life into categories. Okay, now this is really critical. You've got health and fitness. You've got spiritual and emotional. You've got family and relationships. You've got career and travel, financial goals and material items and contribution, giving back, and making a difference. Now, I talk about this in detail, guys, in my Unleash the Alpha Within training to teach you how to tap into your personal power. What if, what if you could literally create a life of everything that you ever dreamed, and you could actually morph and mold and sculpt it and write out the perfect dream world for yourself? What if you could have everything that you ever wanted? You can't do it unless you are clear. You've got to be clear on what it is that you want and why it is that you want it. So why do you want a goal? 
you've got to get to the core root of why you want to achieve your goal. Okay. So, you know, if you don't know this guys, I'm telling you, this will take your goal setting to a completely different level. Then you want to make it a goal to give yourself more of what you need now. Okay. I'm going to show you how this works. It's like peeling back the onion. Okay. So I'm going to read this again. You got to get to the core root of why you want to achieve each goal and then make it a goal to give yourself more of what you actually need right now. And watch how this works. Let's say that you say that you want a bigger house. Then go, well, why do you want a bigger house? Right? You go, well, you know, we, we need more space. Tell me, tell me more about the space. Well, you know, I mean, like, you know, if we had more space, we'd, be, we'd feel more comfortable. Oh, so now it's about being more comfortable. Tell me about that. Well, you know, when we're more comfortable and we got more space, we're more organized. Oh, so now it's about being more organized. Well, no, I mean, the feeling is, is that, you know, I just feel a lot more peaceful. Ah, so it's really about feeling more peace. But we were talking in the beginning and it was about having more space. But as you peel back the onion, you find out that it's really about a feeling of having more peace. Watch how this works. Darren, I really want to get a Ferrari. Why do you want to get a Ferrari? Oh man, they, they go so fast. Tell me more about that. Well, you know, like they're, they do zero to 60 in like, you know, three seconds. I think it would be so, it'd be, it'd be so much fun. Tell me more about the fun. You know, it just makes me, it makes me feel really good. Well, well, tell me, tell me more about how it makes you feel. Well, you know, like I drive up, I drive up to the place in the valet and, and, and they look at me and I'm in this car. Ah, so it's about recognition from your peers. It wasn't about going fast. The core root of that driver is actually about recognition. So watch how this works. If you give yourself more, of what you need at the core. So a bigger house, we got down to the core driver is more peace, more peace of mind. So start focusing on peace of mind now and you will actually attract the bigger house to you. You'll create a vortex and you'll create a magnet and you'll pull it in. So if you look at the sports car and wanting recognition from your peers, Focus on giving yourself the recognition and self-love, okay? So this is part of the daily mirror work that I teach my students is to look at yourself in the mirror after you get out of the shower and say, you know, I love you, Darren, just the way you are, 10 times. I accept myself unconditionally, even though a part of me feels that I don't deserve to have success, 10 times, right? This is about your self-love to feeling worthy and deserving to open up that vortex so that you can get that sports car. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to set a time frame. This is really important. Yearly goals must be believable to your subconscious mind. If not, you will not manifest them. Now, what do I mean by this? So let's say that I'm talking to somebody and I say, well, give me an idea. How much money do, do you want to make? you know, in the next 12 months. Darren, I want to make a million dollars. Okay, well, give me an idea. I mean, what level of income are you accustomed to making right now? $3,000 a month, okay? Now, their subconscious mind is going to go from a 3,000 to a million. In order to make a million dollars a year, you'd have to make $3,000 a day, right? So, you know, if, if the person's subconscious mind doesn't believe it, here's what happens. Here's what your subconscious mind does. <laughs> yeah, right. And you don't do anything. You're literally paralyzed because you don't believe it to be true. So if you're making 40,000 a year and you set a goal to make 2 million in the next 12 months, is that really believable? Can you really believe that you could make a jump that big, right? Obviously you're at a vibrational resonance right now and a certain deservability and worthiness at 40 grand. You're not gonna jump skyrocketing up to 2 million. How about work on just replacing your income? That's a good first goal, right? I want to replace my current income or I want to double my current income. Those are goals that your subconscious mind can believe to be true. Now, what I want to talk to you about is truly making a vision. And I go in detail into this in my millionaire mentoring training and coaching because this is like opening up a gateway in through the matrix 
into your next reality. Okay, so you're going to literally imagine you've got this bubble of this one reality, it's a matrix, and you're going to peel it open, and you're going to create a gateway into the next reality. Now, a lot of people say, Darren, can I do this on a computer? No, you can't. You can't. You have to cut and paste it because it's going to take you back into your, um, your inner child when you were uh, in elementary school, and you may even actually have flashbacks of stuff that happened to you growing up. Okay, so it's imperative that you get that. You can't do this on a computer for it to have the ultimate effect. Here's the supplies that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a whiteboard with sticker, Mac tack finish. Um, they're the easiest because you can put down your whole first level foundation without having to use a glue stick. But to, to, to do stuff on top of that, you're gonna need a glue stick. You're also gonna need scissors, uh, I recommend to do the close cropping that you might want to get one of those X-Acto knives. Um, they work really well for getting in close around uh, the rings and, you know, airplanes and things like that. National Geographic for pictures of nature or uh, some travel magazines at a travel place. Rob Report and Showcase Magazine are probably some of the best magazines I use for my vision boards. Um, once you really get good at these and you start to manifest, um, you know, you want to start to up your game. Like you can see on, on this vision board is that yacht and you, that yacht's probably like, you know, uh, 250, 300 million dollars, right? So, you know, you start to up your ante, uh, and you start to actually really believe that you can, you can actually do it because as your income starts to go up, you're also your goals start to increase of what you believe you can actually manifest. DuPont registry for cars, for homes, for boats. Uh, Maxim magazine is another really good one. Golf digest, uh, because there's a lot of pictures of, of greenery and golf course and mountains in the background. Uh, Chatelaine magazine is another good one. Stuff magazine, star magazine, because they've got some really big headlines and type, like stuff like that you know, truth and yeehaw, you know, you want to have, don't, don't be putting everything the same size, guys, okay? And if you can't see off into the distance to the infinity, right, you can see the, the boat there with the horizon line off in the distance, and you can see that the, you can walk right past the girl into the home, the distance between the, the watch that's in the front or the ring that's in the front and the horizon line off in the distance, it's a far way. It might be 20 or 30 miles. If you don't have that effect on your vision board, guys, start over, okay? Start over. It will not work for this effect. Now, if you want to get instructions, really step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it, go to darrenlittle.com forward slash vision dash boards. So there's three steps to creating your vision board, ripping, cutting, and pasting. Now, when you do the first part, which is the ripping, you want to do it very, very fast, fast, fast. Just flip, flip, flip. Anything that inspires you, anything that changes your state, anything that shifts your mind where you go, oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. You want to just rip, stack, rip, stack, rip, stack as you're going through. Any word, sentence, picture, anything that motivates you, anything that changes your state, you're going to rip it, okay? And you're just going to keep on making that stack. You're not trying to put the puzzle together in the beginning. You're just ripping out, getting, um, you know, sort of stuff that you're going to pick from. You might not choose everything, but there's a process here, guys. you got to change your state. you got to tap into the physiology of your body, your preferred state of being, okay? So next thing you do is you move into the cutting. Now, like I said, uh, you're going to be dealing with nature pictures as your foundation, and you also want to use close cropping with an X-Acto knife. So cut out whatever has inspired you. Get rid of all the excess paper, and now you're going to create a second pile. So you've got your pile. Now you're going to move into the cutting. If, it, if it's a close crop around a car or it's a close crop around a ring or something like that, you might be using an X-Acto knife, okay? Now you start off with the pasting. Now, if you look at this particular nature shot, you can see what I'm talking about depth, okay? So the front of the river 
is miles and miles away from that horizon line. If you don't have that type of effect with your nature pictures, you will not have three dimensions. Okay, so I'm going to say this again. If you don't have the, the three-dimensional look with the horizon line in the distance, you will not create three dimensions, okay? Now, you want to cover the whole board with some nature shots, and you want to work within the infinity pattern, right, which is a sideways figure eight. So if I've, I've drawn the infinity pattern over top of that, but notice how the boat is coming into the center, the car is coming into the center, the plane is coming out the middle, right? The, the, the car on the left is kind of going into the center. So work within that type of energy field within the infinity, okay? And don't make it too cluttered, guys. There's gonna be a point of putting stuff on the board where if it gets too cluttered, it's going to create a blocker in the gateway. Now, here's an example. Now, you'll notice that um, the watch is floating in the foreground. The, the diamonds are floating in the foreground. Look at the distance between the diamonds and then all the way past that plane to the horizon. Look how that could be, a, you know, I don't know, 50 miles to, to the, the edge there. Who knows? Look at the distance between the rain which is in the foreground above play, and then the sky above those mountains. That might be 100 miles, guys. You know, that, that, that's really far off in the distance. Look at the Lamborghini and how far it is off into the, the horizon of the uh, golf course. Or the, 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 the BMW at the bottom between that and the mansion that's on the top of the mountain, look how far that is. Look at the boat, for the tip of the boat to the edge of the horizon line. Guys, if you don't have those gateways, start over, okay? If you do not have gateways like that, start again, because you're not creating a gateway between this reality and the next reality that you want. Okay, so remember you wanna work within that infinity pattern, very, very important. Now notice that 3D effect once again. The distance between the horizon line and the stuff in the foreground. Now, this is an example, guys, of something that just doesn't have the effect. And you can see how this almost makes you feel a little bit like nervous energy, right? This will not work for the effect that I'm trying to, you know, communicate here to you. Look at the difference between these two um, vision boards. First of all, there's too much repetition of the same thing right? You've got to, and there's no nature. There's no grounding on the board. So it, this almost has that feeling of a crowd that's in downtown New York that's fighting to get through, right? It, 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 it doesn't create a gateway into uh, the next reality. So it's something to keep in mind. I wanted to show you this so that you can see the contrast between cluttered energy, and then let's take a look back at this one. Look how much nature is involved in the foundation. So very important to get that, right? The difference between the gateway and having it cluttered. Now, how do you activate the vision? How do you tap into the emotion and the feeling of success? Here's the thing that you got to understand. Your body actually works like a radio broadcast station. It's broadcasting out this frequency like a beacon. Boing, boing, right? Like a radio broadcast. And the best way to actually get a visual of this is to take a, a, a drum of water right, that's filled up to the top and take a little tiny pebble and drop it in the very center. And what you'll find is that it, there, there'll be ripples. They will go all the way out to the very edge. They will touch the side of that um, barrel and they will come back to the center. And until you've seen this, you can't even comprehend what that will do to your belief in understanding this. Because here's what happens. Once you understand how this works and thought-directed emotion that generates feeling and how your physiology and your body is communicating with the electrons and you're sending out that vibration, when it hits the edge of the matrix, guess what happens? It all starts coming back. 
And once you see it, once you have a visual of that pebble dropping into that pond or the pebble dropping into that barrel, guys, I'm telling you what, it changes everything. Okay, so in order to attract success, you need to broadcast success. But remember that your physiology in your body is actually the broadcast station. That's when I pulled my arm up and you can see goosebumps. So you need to tap into the emotional feeling. This is, success is a radio broadcast frequency, guys. Here's what I'll tell you. Success is an actual feeling in your body. And I can literally show people once they get this, how they can literally make money at will by turning on the success broadcast within the physiology of their body. That's what happened today on, that, uh, on the broadcast. Now, what is the gateway? The gateway is gratitude. Gratitude, guys, okay? Now, here's, I'm gonna tell you, two things right here. This is kind of the sequence of what happens to create a quantum boom, okay? So you've got concentrated focused thoughts, are gonna create emotions, the emotions are gonna create feelings, the feelings are gonna shift your physiology, and all of a sudden you're going to, boom, send out a quantum boom. So it's, you know, if you get this concept, concentrated focused thought actually affects you emotionally in your body to create a feeling to change your physiology in your body. So if you wanna think, if you wanna feel depressed, Think of all the terrible things that happened in your life. If you want to feel depressed, think about all the people that rejected you, all the relationships that failed, every time you've ever lost money. And you can actually trigger your body to go into depression. Concentrated, focused thought. Now, gratitude is the gateway. Now, I, this is what I tell people. This is, this is a, a chant that I came up with that really works to tap my body into this feeling. And I get centered and I say, gratitude, 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 I'm so grateful, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful, thank you. And then there's a rush that goes right through my body. Gratitude is the gateway, gratitude is the feeling. If you tap into this feeling of gratitude, I'm telling you, everything will change. And people say, well, Darren, I don't, I don't have anything to be grateful for. Well, let me ask you this. Do you have all your arms, all your legs? Can you, do you have all your lungs? Do you have all your body parts? Can you see? Start with that. Start with that, guys, because there's a lot of people that can't even walk. So start on the things that you take advantage of or you take, you take for granted. Start with those things. Do you have a roof over your head? Be grateful for that. A lot of people don't. Do you have three meals per day right now? Yeah, okay, be grateful for that right now, right? Do you have clothes on your back? Do you have shoes? Yeah, okay, be grateful for that, okay? So get things back to the basics. So what, what you've gotta do is write out 10 I am proclamation statements. This is how you're going to speak your reality into existence. Now you need to write them like they've actually already happened like they've already happened. Now here's an example. I am driving an Aston Martin. Now I could say, if I said it just like a positive thing, like I'm driving an Aston Martin, right? That's not the same as I'm driving an Aston Martin. There's emotion behind a proclamation. So if there's a difference between an affirmation that is positive and a proclamation that's emotional. There's a whole body movement behind it, right? Very, very, very important you get that part. You know, I'm able to afford a $4,000 suit without question. Imagine what it would be like walking into a place and, and, you know, getting a couple suits, four grand a pop, no big deal, right? That's the abundance mindset. You've got to tap into the feeling of what that feels like. I'm paying cash for everything. I'm donating $1 million to charity. I'm building a school in Africa. I'm in my own cartoon and comic book. I'm traveling the world doing seminars. I'm owning an office tower in Vancouver. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm flying on private jets. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now when you do that, you should be like Rocky on top of the mountain with your arms up in the air. Now, here's what I will tell you. The first time you start doing proclamations, it may seem like you're lying to yourself. It may seem a little bit awkward. You may seem a little bit goofy. 
Guys, trust this process. Trust this process. If you just keep on doing these three times per day, what's going to happen is internally inside your body, a switch is going to go off. Literally like a light switch. It's just going to go ping one day. And all of a sudden, you're going to feel this rush of energy that goes right through your body from, from the tip of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. And you'll feel this bolt go right through your uh, body. That's called a quantum boom. That's what happens. And once you do that, you can start to do it at will. Once you train your body, once you train your mind, once you train your, your words and your emotions and you tap into this feeling, bam, goes out a quantum boom. That's when it starts getting exciting. Now, in order to make seven figures, you've got to first master your mindset. This is something that happened for me. I went from a 1989 Pontiac Firefly that wasn't even mine, guys. I didn't even have any money to buy a car, right? To this having a brand new Porsche Carrera, a, um, this truck here, a uh, 740 uh, IL Beamer, uh, a mansion in Las Vegas, another property here, a, a waterfront property in Vancouver, a vacation home. Guys, this is all from the mindset. you got to be a millionaire in your mind long before it shows up in your bank account. And I learned this from Dr. Poulos when he said to me, Darren, do you realize that you are where you are right now based upon your thoughts five years ago? If you want to know where you're going to be five years from today, just look at your thoughts today, right? That's the key, guys. Now, he taught me how to go to a, a, an exotic car dealership. I wanted to get a Porsche. He said, Darren, I'm going to show you how to get that Porsche. Will you do everything that I tell you to do? I said, absolutely. He said, you're, you're sure about that? You're sure about that? Absolutely, I will. What do I have to do? He said, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to surrender your pride and your ego. You're going to have to go into the Porsche dealership, ask to see the sales manager, sit down with them in their office, tell them uh, that you're hoping that you can get their help, you're currently working at this job, they've actually sent you here for an assignment and you need to get their permission to go through a visualization once per week and if you don't do it, you're going to get fired. If you don't do it, you're going to get fired. Now, I, pre I was prepared to do that, guys. Because I really wanted that car. Okay? I was prepared to do that. He said, you're going to have to go to the dealership every single week. Now, not very many people will do this. Okay, Not very many people will do this. Not very many people would actually make the amount of trips that I did, which was 44 trips to the dealership. Okay, So it took me 11 months to go from that 1989 Pontiac Firefly to a brand new Porsche Carrera. But what I didn't realize is that what was going to come with the car was a mansion and a million dollars in cash. I had no idea. I didn't know how this whole thing worked. All I did was I surrendered my pride, my ego, and I trusted my mentor. I trusted my mentor. I didn't realize that once my body tuned into the feeling and I surrendered my pride and my ego and I took the action steps, that that would be the result. That I just by making this trip multiple times, 44 trips, guys, 44 times I went to that dealership. They knew me by, by my first name. I was like part of the, you know, part, it was like I was staff almost. When I came walking in there, hey, Darren, how's it going? Right? I mean, I built relationships and rapport with everybody. And finally, I came in one day and I said, I'm here to pick up my car. And they said, you know what, Darren, we didn't know how long or when it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. And they, they dropped like between six and $7,000 off the price of the car. They said, it's been pretty obvious. There's been no salesman involved in this transaction. You know, congratulations. That's what can happen. So how do you activate your vision board? Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, you're going to read something that is positive. That will start the process. What's next? You're going to stand in front of your vision board get really clear looking right through into the three dimensions, okay? And you're going to read your 10 I am proclamations with total passion and conviction. I'm driving an Aston Martin, right? With total passion and conviction. And when you're finished, it's going to be yes, 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 okay? 
Now, you might wake up the neighbors. You got to be okay with that, guys, because it's your emotions that are going to communicate with your physiology and your body and broadcast out that message to the electrons. Okay. Now, if you're if you're with a spouse and your spouse is not on board and she's laughing at you or he's laughing at you, I'm telling you what, you will create a barrier for your own gateway. So you guys both need to be on board here. Otherwise, you're you're already creating a sabotage for your breakthrough. Okay, so stepping into the new you, what I want for you to do after you've done that, after you've done the yes, 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 you're gonna stand in one spot with your legs just side by side, close your eyes, very centered. Take a deep breath and visualize in front of you is the new you. The new you and your new reality, the new you in the future, the new you that you're going to become, the new you, and you're going to take one step and you're going to step into your new being. One step. And I want you to realize this, guys. You already are the person that you want to become. And the more that you realize this, the more that you just accept this as truth, the more that you just surrender your pride, you surrender your ego, and you know that abundance is your birthright. There's not enough money in the world that can pay you for your worth. And it doesn't matter whether or not it, 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 it happens overnight. It doesn't matter. As long as you are tapped into your preferred state of being, your preferred state of being. You start thinking about what you want. You start feeling about what you want. And you literally will morph right into this new reality. It's an amazing process, guys. I'm telling you. I get so jacked just talking about this. So 10 steps to achieving your goals. Here they are. Set a goal that is believable to you. Keep in mind, remember the thing about the subconscious mind. Select the target date. Identify the core reason. Remember peeling back the onion, getting to the core driver. Write a list of action steps that uh, will set will, will get you to that goal. So you need an actual, um, you know, set of action steps that are going to move you forward. Seek partners to help you get there faster. Now, a lot of this has to do with surrendering your ego, guys. Okay, I, I can't tell you how many people I've seen that started business, oh, no, 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 I'm good, I got it, I got it all handled, right? Because their ego doesn't want to, for them to feel that they're, that they're wrong or that they don't know or they're less than. If you surrender your pride and your ego and you get a mentor, you can fast track yourself by at least three to five years. Now, you want to make it visual. It's got to be three-dimensional, guys. If it's flat, you will not have the same type of results. you got to tap into the physiology of what it feels like to already have it. What does it feel like in your body, in your cells of your body? And it's almost like surrendering your cells. <sighs> That's why I tell people to go to the Bentley dealership because it's not whether or not you want one, your cells have to get comfortable with wealth. Bottom line, okay? go put on a Rolex, go try to suit the five grand, go to Louis Vuitton, start touching it. Feel it. You've got to feel the wealth. You got to, and it's not about it being materialistic things, guys. It's not about that, right? Take your kids and go to the forest. Connect with nature. You've got to feel worthy of your abundance. If you don't feel worthy, if you don't feel deserving, if you don't feel the abundance is your birthright and you're pushing it away, you will not have it and you will create a struggle for yourself. You've got to read it. You've got to proclaim it and you've got to visualize it daily. You've got to feel grateful for what you already have. Feel grateful for what you already have and feel grateful for this future reality like you've already achieved it. What would it feel like? What would that feeling of gratitude feel like if you never ever have to worry about money again for the rest of your life? Ever. What if you could literally manifest and make money at will? What would that feel like in your body, right? And then celebrate and give thanks. Like it's already happened, guys. Like it has already happened. Here's a couple things I recommend that you read. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker, uh, Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth. Ask and it is given, Learning uh, to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And one of the first books that I actually ever read uh, was Anthony Robbins, Unlimited Power, 
if somebody said, Darren, what are three books that could totally change your life forever? These, these are my top three. Okay, these are my top three. That you will learn how to step into your power, you'll learn how to manifest, and you'll learn how to not only make money, but keep money. Okay? So there you've got it, guys. Uh, my name is Darren Little, also known online as the MLM Superhero. I'm super easy to reach. There's my phone number, uh, my Skype if you're international. Feel free to reach out, touch base, say a quick hello. Send me an email at darren at darrenlittle.com.